Teaching English in France, the Salary and Budget Guide This guide will help you answer the question, how much can I earn and save teaching English in France? You'll also find information on the local cost of living in order to figure out how much to budget for when making the move to France. The typical salary for English teachers in France. The figure you can expect to earn as an ESL teacher in France will vary considerably depending on your qualifications and experience, the location, and the type of employer. For most teachers, a figure between 1,000 and 2,000 euros per month would be typical. Unfortunately, teaching contracts in France don't usually include any additional benefits and teachers will have to pay for their airfares and accommodation out of their own pocket. However, teachers do receive health insurance and some paid holiday. How to earn extra cash while teaching English in France. A great way to supplement your income when teaching English in France is to take on private students in your spare time. Rates for private tutoring range from 15 to 25 euros per hour. Getting a work visa in France. While it is often quite difficult for teachers from outside the EU to obtain a long-term work visa to teach legally in the country, there is a relatively easy way to teach legally in France. The cost of living in France. France is an incredibly popular destination for teaching English abroad and there is a strong demand for TEFL certified teachers. However, the high cost of living often deters teachers from moving to France as expenses for food, rent and transportation are considerably higher in Western Europe than destinations in the eastern part of the continent, such as the Czech Republic, for instance. Nevertheless, if you budget right and take on a couple of private students in your free time, you can still make a comfortable living. Cost of living in France. Food. The local cost of living in France is higher compared to locations in Eastern Europe, but if you do your shopping at local markets and avoid eating out at touristy areas, you can save on your monthly expenses. Milk, 1 0. 1.30 euros. 12 eggs, 3.20 euros. Apples, 1 kilogram. 2.80 euros. Chicken breast, 1 kilogram. 11 euros. Rice, 1 kilogram. 2 euros. Bottle of water, 1 5 liters. 0 0.90 euros. Bottle of domestic beer, 0 0.5 liters. 6 euros. Cost of living in France. Leisure activities. The people of France love spending time outside and hanging out with friends. Considering the world-famous Avoir Vivre culture in France, there are most certainly limitless ways to enjoy yourself and have a good time while teaching English in France. Three-course mid-range restaurant dinner. 55 euros. Quick restaurant meal. 15 euros. One-month fitness club membership. 47 euros. Movie ticket. International release. 11 euros. Cost of living in France. Transportation. Large cities have a fast subway network and the whole country is very well connected via trains and buses. Taxi rates are quite high in large cities. Metro ride. 1.90 euros. Monthly pass. Regular price. 75 euros. Taxi rate per kilometers 130 euros. Start fare 5 euros. City bus. 190 euros. Cost of living in France. Travel around France and beyond. France is home to some of the most exciting tourist destinations in Europe and the whole world. From the capital Paris with its world-famous museums to Nice on the French Riviera and the wine capital of the world Bordeaux, France is full of amazing places to see. One night in a mid-range hotel. 70 euros. Train from Paris to Nice, 5.5 hours. 55 euros. Flight from Paris to London, round trip, 1 hour. 80 euros. Sample monthly teacher budget. To give you an example of how an English teacher in France spends their salary, here is a sample monthly budget. Gross income, salary, 1,500 euros. Average, rent, shared or one bedroom. 870 euros. 
utilities, electricity, gas, water, 150 euros, phone and internet, 28 euros, food, 250 euros, insurance, 30 euros, remaining disposable income, 172 euros, currently 193 dollars United States dollars, how much you can save when teaching English in France, as you can see from the sample budget above, you will be left with approximately 193 dollars United States dollars after the average expenses. This amount varies, and of course, depending on your salary, location and personal lifestyle. However, it is true that you won't be able to save as much while teaching English in France compared to places in Asia for example, where the salaries are generally higher and the cost of living considerably lower. However, you will still have the time of your life when teaching English in France because of its vibrant culture and exciting things to see and do. Take your TEFL TES all in class course in France. ITTT has in class TEFL courses in France, where you can spend four weeks learning everything you need to know about teaching your own English classes abroad while exploring Paris or Brittany. Are you ready to live and teach English in France? Apply now for your TEFL TES all certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor to Teaching English in Italy, the Salary and Budget Guide This guide will help you answer the question, how much can I earn and save teaching English in Italy? You'll also find information on the local cost of living in order to figure out how much to budget for when making the move to Italy. The typical salary for English teachers in Italy. The typical salary for English language teachers in Italy varies considerably depending on the employer and the location. Therefore, you can expect to earn in the region of 1,000 to 1,500 euros per month. It's also important to note that salaries in the northern cities, such as Rome and Milan, pay the most, while you may earn less in the south of the country. Teachers with a TEFL qualification and experience have a good chance of earning the higher end of the scale, while those without a TEFL certification are likely to earn less. How to earn extra cash while teaching English in Italy. Many teachers living and working in Italy take advantage of the high demand for private language tutors. By taking on private students in their free time, teachers can earn extra money outside of normal working hours. Rates for private tutoring range from 15 to 30 euros per hour. Getting a work visa in Italy. While it is often quite difficult for teachers from outside the EU to obtain a long-term work visa to teach legally in the country, there is a relatively easy way to teach legally in Italy. The cost of living in Italy. While there is a strong demand for TEFL certified teachers in Italy, the cost of living often keeps people from moving there. Expenses for groceries and transportation are higher in Italy than destinations in Eastern Europe, such as the Czech Republic. However, you can still make a comfortable living teaching English in Italy. Cost of living in Italy, food. The local cost of living in Italy is higher compared to locations in Eastern Europe, but if you purchase your groceries at local markets and avoid eating out at touristy areas, you can save on your monthly expenses. Milk, 1 liter. 1,16 euros. Eggs, 12. 2,92 euros. Apples, 1 kilogram, 1,77 euros. Chicken breast, 1 kilogram, 8,63 euros. Rice, 1 kilogram, 1,90 euros. Bottle of water, 1,5 liters, 0,40 euros. Bottle of domestic beer, 0,5 liters, 1 euros. Cost of living in Italy, leisure activity. Italians love to spend time outside. Eating out with friends, sitting in cafes or bar hopping are amongst the most popular leisure activities in Italy. Three-course mid-range restaurant dinner, 55 euros. 
quick restaurant meal 15 euros one month fitness club membership 50 euros movie ticket international release 8 euros cost of living in italy transportation large cities have a fast subway network and the whole country is very well connected via trains and buses taxi rates are quite high in large cities metro ride 150 euros Monthly pass, regular price, 35 euros. Taxi rate per kilometers, 130 euros. Start fare, 4 euros. City bus, 150 euros. Cost of living in Italy, travel in Italy and beyond. Italy is home to some of Europe's most famous places of interest, including Rome, the Vatican, Pisa, Milan, Venice, and Florence, just to name a few. You can easily travel around the country via train. You can also easily travel to other European cities by train or plane from Italy. One night in a mid-range hotel. 50 euros. Train from Rome to Venice, 3.5 hours. 35 euros. Flight from Rome to Paris, round trip, 2 hours. 80 euros. Sample monthly teacher budget. To give you an example of how an English teacher in Italy spends their salary, here is a sample monthly budget. Gross income, salary, 1,600 euros, average. Rent, shared or one bedroom, 670 euros. Utilities, electricity, gas, water, 120 euros. Phone and internet, 27 euros. Food, 150 euros insurance 30 euros remaining disposable income 603 euros currently 684 dollars united states dollars how much you can save when teaching english in italy as you can see from the sample budget above you will be left with approximately 684 dollars united states dollars after the average expenses this amount varies and of course depending on your salary and location However, it is true that you won't be able to save as much while teaching English in Italy compared to places in Asia, for example, where the salaries are generally higher and the cost of living considerably lower. However, you will still have the time of your life when teaching English in Italy because of its vibrant culture and exciting things to see and do. Take your TEFL TES all in class course in Italy. ITTT has in-class TEFL courses in Italy, where you can spend four weeks learning everything you need to know about teaching your own English classes abroad while exploring Rome or Florence. Are you ready to live and teach English in Italy? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. Teaching English in Spain, the Salary and Budget Guide This guide will help you answer the question, how much can I earn and save teaching English in Spain? You'll also find information on the local cost of living in order to figure out how much to budget for when making the move to Spain. The typical salary for English teachers in Spain. Spain is one of the most visited countries in the world and has a large tourism industry. Because of this, the demand for TEFL qualified English language teachers is very high all across the nation. Most teachers find jobs in private language schools, but positions can also be found in public schools through government-sponsored programs. You will find most available positions in large cities, such as Madrid, Barcelona, and Valencia, but opportunities can be found all over the country. The typical salary for English teachers in Spain starts at around 700 euros per month, rising to 1,800 euros for higher end positions. How to earn extra cash while teaching English in Spain. Since teacher salaries in Spain aren't among the highest in the world, many teachers supplement their income by taking on private students in their free time. 
Rates for private tutoring range between 18 and 22 euros per hour. Getting a work visa in Spain. While it can often be a challenge for teachers from outside the EU to obtain a long-term work visa to teach legally in the country, there is a relatively easy way to teach legally in Spain. The cost of living in Spain. Spain is an incredibly popular destination for teaching English abroad, and there is a strong demand for TEFL certified teachers. However, salaries aren't high, which often deters teachers from moving there. On the plus side, living expenses are usually lower than in some other European destinations, such as Italy or France. Therefore, you can still live comfortably when teaching English in Spain. Cost of living in Spain, food, if you avoid heating in areas catered to foreigners and tourists, you will be able to save a lot of money on food while living in Spain. Shopping at local markets will also help your budget. Milk, 1 liter. 080 euros. Eggs, 12. 160 euros. Apples, 1 kilogram. 160 euros. Chicken breast, 1 kilogram. 570 euros. Rice, 1 kilogram. 1 euros. Bottle of water, 1 5 liters. 0 60 euros. Bottle of domestic beer, 0 5 liters. 220 euros. Cost of living in Spain. Leisure activities. Spain is a country rich in natural scenery. You can go skiing, hiking, swimming in the ocean, surfing or sampling your way through the country's rich wine culture. There is so much to see and do and people love to enjoy life to the fullest. Three-course mid-range restaurant dinner. 35 euros. Quick restaurant meal. 10 euros. One-month fitness club membership. 35 euros. Movie ticket, international release. 8 euros. Cost of living in Spain. Transportation. Most large cities in Spain are equipped with a well-connected subway system. Trains and buses also connect the country's large and smaller towns with one another. Metro ride. 140 euros. Monthly pass, regular price. 45 euros. Taxi rate per kilometers 105 euros. Start fare 3 euros. City bus. 140 euros. Cost of living in Spain travel around Spain and beyond. Every region in Spain is unique and offers its own cultural heritage. From food, architecture, and art, you will never run out of things to see and do while teaching English in Spain. One night in a mid-range hotel. 50 euros. Train from Madrid to Barcelona, 3 hours. 65 euros. Flight from Madrid to Paris, round trip, 2 hours. 55 euros. Sample monthly teacher budget. To give you an example of how an English teacher in Spain spends their salary, here is a sample monthly budget. Gross income, salary. 1,300 euros, average dot rent, shared or one bedroom. 500 euros. Utilities, electricity, gas, water. 115 euros. Phone and internet. 40 euros. Food. 150 euros. Insurance. 20 euros. Remaining disposable income, 475 euros, currently $540 United States dollars. How much you can save when teaching English in Spain? As you can see from the sample budget above, you will be left with approximately $540 United States dollars after the average expenses when teaching English in Spain. Of course, this amount varies depending on your salary, location and personal lifestyle. While it's true that you won't be able to save as much compared to places in Asia, for example, where the salaries are generally higher and the cost of living considerably lower, you will still have the time of your life when teaching English in Spain. Take your TEFL TES all-in-class course in Spain. ITTT has in-class TEFL courses in Spain, where you can spend four weeks learning everything you need to know about teaching your own English classes abroad while exploring Barcelona, Granada, Malaga, or Seville. Are you ready to live and teach English in Spain? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months.
Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. 9 Stunning Cities in Spain for Teaching English Abroad It's not hard to see why Spain is one of the most attractive countries in Europe for teaching English as a foreign language. Most teachers head straight to Madrid or Barcelona, but there are many more stunning cities in Spain for teaching English abroad. Tips for teaching English in Spain While it's true that it can be a little difficult for non-EU citizens to secure a work permit in Spain, there is a legal way to still be able to live and teach in this European paradise. Check out our detailed guide on how to legally teach English in Spain to find out how to go about it. Here are 9 stunning cities in Spain for teaching English abroad. Teaching English in Barcelona. The capital of Spain's Catalonia region, Barcelona is among the top destinations for English teachers in Spain. The city is known for the arts and architecture, including the world-famous Sagrada Familia Church and modern buildings designed by Antoni Gaudi that make up the cityscape. Be sure to check out Musu Picasso and Fundacio Joan Miro to see some of the finest modern masterpieces in history. Besides its many modern attractions, Barcelona also boasts several archaeological sites from Roman times. Teaching English in Gijón, The largest coastal city in Spain's north, Gijón, is known for its unique maritime heritage. Visit the old fishermen's quarter at Samata Villa and you'll be following in the footsteps of Gijón's past. Head up to Santa Catalina Hill and you'll have a wonderful view of the cliffs in the local sculpture park. To find out more about the city's history, check out the 16th century clock tower and the museum inside it. Teaching English in Granada. Granada is one of Spain's most popular tourist destinations. The city is located in the Andalusia region in southern Spain in the foot of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Granada's medieval architecture dates back to the region's Moorish occupation. This is especially evident in the Alhambra, a medieval Moorish palace complex. Teaching English in Madrid. Of course, the beautiful capital of Spain cannot be missed from this list. Madrid is well known for its rich collections of European art, especially at the Prado Museum displaying pieces from Goya, Velázquez and other Spanish masters. Plaza Mayor marks the center of the city, and the nearby royal palace and armory bear witness to Spain's monarchical history. Teaching English in San Sebastian. If you are looking for beach and sunshine, San Sebastian is a great choice. The resort town is located on the Bay of Biscay in the mountainous Basque Country. Head down to the two main beaches of Playa de la Concha and Playa de Andoreta and stroll down the bayfront promenades lined with amazing restaurants and shops. The old town of San Sebastian has beautiful cobblestone streets and old churches and is definitely worth checking out. Teaching English in Santander. Another popular coastal city in the north of Spain is Santander. It's the capital of the Cantabria region and home to the Palacio de la Magdalena, a royal summer residence. The heart of the city features the stunning Cathedral de Santander with an octagonal cupola and Gothic cloister. There are also many beaches in and around the city that are breathtaking year-round. Teaching English in Santiago de Compostela every year. Millions of people head to Santiago de Compostela for their journey along the Camino de Santiago pilgrimage route. The city in Galicia, in the northwest of Spain, is also said to feature the burial site of the biblical apostle St. James at the Cathedral de Santiago de Compostela. Many pilgrims also hike up Monte Ducoso to see the many religious sculptures and to get a stunning view of the city. Teaching English in Seville. Travel to Seville in Andalusia and you'll be standing in the birthplace of flamenco dancing. It is said that the dance style originated in the city's Triana neighborhood. 
Other famous sites and attractions you can visit in Seville include the ornate Alcacer Castle that was built during the Moorish occupation, as well as the beautiful Plaza de Toros de la Mestranza bullring from the 18th century. On top of that, Christopher Columbus's tomb is located in the Gothic Seville. Teaching English in Toledo. There is no doubt that Toledo is among the most historically interesting cities in Spain. The city is often referred to as the city of the three cultures due to the cultural influences of Christians, Muslims, and Jews reflected in its city history. Because of this multicultural history and its many historic sites of the three cultures, the city was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986. Are you ready to live and teach English in Spain? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. The Top 8 Cities in France for Teaching English Abroad France is one of the most popular destinations for teaching English in Europe. While a lot of people settle in Paris to enjoy the Parisian lifestyle, there are a lot of other exciting cities in all parts of the country. Here are the top 8 places to teach English in France. Tips for teaching English in France. Due to local laws and regulations, it can often be difficult for non-EU citizens to secure a visa and work legally in France. However, if you are dreaming of living and working in France, don't despair. We have a thorough guide to legally teaching English for people outside of the EU. Be sure to check it out here for all the details on how to move to France and teach English. Bordeaux. A wine lover's paradise, Bordeaux is a port city on the Garonne in southwestern France. Often referred to as the wine capital of the world, Bordeaux indeed produces some of the best wines in the world and is even home to the world's greatest wine museum. The city is also famous for producing some of the best food in the country that goes great with wine. When in Bordeaux, be sure to try oysters from the Bay of Arcachon, milk-fed podlac lamb and seeps de Bordeaux, some of the best mushrooms in France. Grenoble. One of the most picturesque cities in the country, Grenoble is located in the Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes region of southeastern France. It sits at the foot of snow-covered mountains between the Drac and Isère rivers creating an incredibly beautiful scenery. Outdoor lovers will appreciate the combination of city pleasures and breathtaking nature found in Grenoble. Head out of the city centre, and every road leads to a different regional park in all directions. The centre itself boasts a historic quarter filled with cafes, shops, and many world-class galleries. Lyon. If you are looking for centuries-old history, Lyon definitely will make you stand in awe. The capital of the Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes region sits at the junction of the Rhône and Seine rivers and boasts 2,000 years of history dating back to Roman times. Be sure to visit the famous Roman Amphitheatre des Trois Gauls and explore the medieval and Renaissance architecture in view, Old Lion. Local cuisine is also very popular, and the city has a variety of Michelin star restaurants and buchins, small bistros serving outstanding local Lyonnaise cuisine. Marseille. A beautiful port city in southern France, Marseille has a long history as a crossroads of trade and immigration for thousands of years. Founded by the Greeks in 600 BC, you can still get a glimpse of Marseille's historic value at the Viewport, Old Port, where fishermen sell their daily catch along the picturesque quay. Marseille's mix of cultures even earned it the title of European Capital of Culture in 2013. Nice. One of the most glamorous cities on the French Riviera and the whole of France, Nice boasts turquoise waters and lots of sunshine. Besides that, artist Henri Matisse transformed Nice into an art hub with thousands of artists flocking to the city each year. If you are interested in French art, be sure to stop by Musée Matisse and Musée Marchagall to get a glimpse of some of the most important masterpieces of French art. 
Nice is a city for pleasure, great food, the arts, glitz, and glamour all unite here. Paris. The French capital surely doesn't miss from this list as it is the most popular location for TEFL qualified teachers coming to France. A global center for art, fashion, gastronomy, and culture for centuries, Paris is one of the most visited cities in the whole world. Tree-lined boulevards, the River Seine and the unique architecture of its buildings make it a true gem. Its most famous landmarks are the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame Cathedral built in Gothic style in the 12th century. If you are looking to explore the café culture and designer boutiques of Paris, head over to the Rue du Faubourg saint honor Rennes. Rennes is the capital city of Brittany located in northwest France and is very different compared to all the other cities on this list. Its medieval half-timbered houses make Rennes truly unique. Walk around the old town and you'll see its most important landmark, Grand Rennes Cathedral. Besides its unique northern architecture, Rennes is also a city of the arts. The Musée des Beaux Arts showcases works by Botticelli, Rubens, and Picasso. In a recent study by French newspaper The Local, the Breton capital has even reached the top of the list of the best cities in France for foreigners to live in, ahead of cities like Lyon, Nice, and even Paris. Strasbourg. Another city with a truly unique history is Strasbourg. Over the centuries, the region of Alsace around Strasbourg has constantly been part of either Germany or France. Therefore, visitors can appreciate a unique mix of German and French influences that are apparent in the city's culture, cuisine, and architecture. The city's main landmark is the Gothic Cathedral Notre Dame with a large astronomical clock. Reach the top of the cathedral and you get amazing views of the Rhine River and the entire city. Are you ready to live and teach English in France? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. How to Legally Teach English in France with a Student Visa Europe is one of the most popular regions for teaching English as a foreign language for many teachers. However, it can often be difficult for non-EU citizens to secure a visa and work legally in Europe. If you are dreaming of living and working in France, don't despair. An attractive option for teachers from outside of the EU zone is to apply for a student visa. A student visa allows you to work a certain number of hours per week. Even though the legal working hours are limited, many teachers also take on private tutoring to supplement their income. If you are interested in teaching in France, read on to find out how to legally teach English in France with a student visa. Application process for a student visa in France First, you need to choose a study course that is recognized by the French government, usually a French language course, and apply for it. Next, you will have to register with the government program Campus France. Before applying, make sure that your passport is valid for at least six months after you would need to enter France. Once you have filled out your application, a fee of $70 is required to be accepted. After you receive an acceptance letter from the program, you have to visit the nearest French consulate or embassy and lodge your application in person. The requirements are subject to change but usually include the following. Completed application form. Valid passport. Additional passport photo. Photocopy of passport ID page. Documentation regarding your study course in France. Proof of available finances. Bank statement showing funds of $1,000 for every month of your stay, or notarized document from parent or similar declaring they will guarantee the funds. An attestation from Campus France. Completed French immigration form. Airline reservation showing date of departure. 50 euros processing fee. 
Be sure to visit the French Embassy or Consulate website for the current documentation requirements before submitting your application. Accommodation in France Campus France also offers assistance in finding suitable accommodation for your stay in France. It is best to organize your housing as early as possible before arriving in the country. Depending on which program you decide to go for, you can choose from a number of different housing options, such as student residences, university dormitories, or lodging directly at your institute. Refer to the Campus France accommodation section for more information. Available programs. Most teachers interested in teaching in France through a student visa apply for a French language course. At the time of writing this article, there are over 260 different French language programs available at Campus France in cities all across the country. Besides language courses, you can also apply for bachelor's, master's, and doctorate programs through Campus France. Why learn French? There are more than 270 million French speakers around the world. French is also an official language in nearly 30 countries worldwide. Besides making your life in France a whole lot easier, learning French can open a number of new professional and cultural opportunities for you. Most beautiful places in France. Living in France will also allow you to explore the many different regions of the country. According to Business Insider, Paris is the third most visited city in the world with more than 16 million international visitors each year. Paris is often considered the city of romance due to its architecture, cuisine and art facilities. When in Paris, be sure to visit the Eiffel Tower, the Sassacour and Notre Dame cathedrals, the Louvre Museum and nearby Versailles Palace. We also have a training center in Paris where you can take a four-week in-class TEFL course with observed teaching practice. Once you have your TEFL certificate in hand, you can then go ahead and apply for a French course through Campus France. The south of France, which includes famous destinations such as Nice, Cannes and Estée is one of the country's most popular vacation regions. Visitors and locals alike head down to the beautiful Mediterranean coast of France to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Alsace province, in the eastern part of the country, has a unique history as it has often gone back and forth from being either part of France or part of Germany. People in Strasbourg and much of the wider region are mostly bilingual in French and German. You can also enjoy the distinct French-German hybrid cuisine during your stay in this fascinating corner of Europe. Besides its Mediterranean coast in the south, France also has an Atlantic coast along the west of the country. Biarritz, located in the southwest near the Spanish border, is a popular resort destination which is famous for its beaches, casinos and great surfing. Normandy and Brittany in the far north of France attract visitors due to their distinct culture and architecture which features unique stone buildings and the world-famous Mont Saint-Michel, an island commune with a large monastery of Gothic architecture. Tap a program for teaching English in France. Alternatively, you can become a teacher through the Teaching Assistant Program in France which is a government initiative that places applicants into French state schools to work as teaching assistants. This program is also open for non-EU citizens. For more information, check out our TAPAF page, Are You Ready to Live and Teach English Abroad? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. The 7 Most Beautiful Cities in Italy for Teaching English Abroad Italy is one of the most popular destinations for teaching English in Europe, and it's not hard to see why. With so many amazing cities to, to choose from you will be spoiled for choice in this Mediterranean paradise. Tips for teaching English in Italy. Because of strict EU laws and regulations, it can often be difficult for non-EU citizens to secure a visa and work legally in Italy. 
However, if you are dreaming of living and working in Italy, don't worry. Check out our detailed guide on how to legally teaching English in Italy for people outside of the European Union. Here are the seven most beautiful cities in Italy for teaching English abroad. Teaching English in Bologna. The capital of Italy's Emilia Romagna region, Bologna is a premier destination with a lot of exciting attractions. Not only is Bologna stunningly beautiful, it's also home to the oldest university in Europe. Moreover, Bologna is famous for its very own leaning tower, it's not just in Pisa. Try your way through Bologna's local cuisine at the many trattery and mingle with the locals to learn Italian. Teaching English in Florence. One of the most visited cities in Italy, Florence has inspired countless artists and writers due to its unique architecture and romantic vibe. The city is most famous for its Duomo and Palazzo Vecchio, two true Italian gems. While the cityscape of Florence is utterly beautiful to look at from the outside, don't forget to step into its many historic buildings to see works from masters such as Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Titian, Caravaggio, and more. Teaching English in Milan. Located in the northern Lombardy region of Italy, Milan is considered an international hub for fashion and design. Besides that, Milan also houses the Italian Stock Exchange, making it an important business and financial hub in the country and the whole of Europe. The city is also known for its many high-end shops and restaurants and the extravagant lifestyle of many of its citizens. The Duomo di Milano is the city's most important landmark and a perfect example of Gothic architecture. Art fans should also visit the Santa Maria del Grazi convent, which houses the world-famous mural The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. Teaching English in Naples. While Naples often has a rather chaotic reputation, it's a city that surely shouldn't be missed when in Italy. The city's world-famous cuisine is worth a visit alone with its pizza, pasta and seafood dishes of extraordinary quality. Napoli is also considered one of Italy's most important art and archaeological locations and offers top-notch museums to locals and visitors alike. Plus, you're never far from the beach. Teaching English in Rome. The capital and largest city in the country is among the most visited cities in the entire world. With a history of more than 2,500 years, there's undoubtedly a lot to see and do in Rome. Whether you are interested in the archaeological sites and art museums or want to check out as many churches and ruins as possible, Rome has got you covered. Don't forget to stop by the Vatican during your visit to see world-famous sites such as St. Peter's Square and Basilica and the Vatican Museums. It's true, all roads lead to Rome. Teaching English in Venice. Surely, there is no question why Venice is considered one of the most beautiful cities in Italy or even the world. Just take a look at the unique city outline built entirely on canals. Stroll around Venice and you won't have any traffic but all you hear is the sound of water from underneath its buildings. Adding to that, you've got unique architecture, beautiful churches, and the eye-catching St. Mark's Square. Teaching English in Verona. True Shakespeare fans will not want to miss a chance to visit the city where William Shakespeare set Romeo and Juliet. Besides its importance in world-class literature, Verona also boasts fascinating medieval castles, piazzas, and historic churches, along with ancient Roman ruins that are incredibly well-preserved. Verona is ideal for romantics and those looking for history. Step-by-step -step guide to legally teaching English in the Czech Republic. Though quite bureaucratic for non-EU passport holders, it is by no means impossible to get permission to work and stay legally in the Czech Republic. Depending on your country of origin, the process will differ slightly, but the following should give you a good idea of the process involved. Step 1. Understanding the visa situation. Firstly. A business license. Secondly permission to stay in the country in the form of a long-term stay visa. 
The process of acquiring these two things can be a bit complicated as you can't really have one without the other. Listed here is a general outline of what you will need in order to apply for a long-term stay visa in the CZ. Some of this you can gather before you leave for the Czech Republic, but other things you might need to hire someone to do for you or else try to organize them once you get here if you are allowed to enter the Schengen zone without a visa. Step 2. Documents you will need. You will need to have a bank statement proving you have accessible funds to support yourself while you are awaiting the legal right to work. You will also need to show a bank or debit card with which you can access said funds. This must be translated into Czech. You will need to fill out a visa application form, although the form is in English and Czech, it must be filled out entirely in Czech, hello Google Translate, as well as an application for a business license. This means registering yourself with both the health insurance and social insurance authorities and then contributing monthly to both of these once your business license and visa are valid. You will need proof of a clean criminal record from your country of origin. How this is obtained differs from country to country, so it is best to contact your nearest Czech embassy or consulate for advice. You will need a landlord statement, also in Czech stating that you have an approved permanent address in Red Czech Republic. You might not be able to get this before you arrive, but it's a good idea to start looking around early and maybe ask an agency to help you. Your passport must have at least three months of validity left on it after the visa expires from the time your visa is granted. So if you had a passport valid for six months at the moment your visa is approved, you would only get the visa for three months. You will also need proof of health insurance valid for the time that your visa will be valid. This can be purchased online but must be accepted by the ministry so have a look at their website, see below, and then shop around. The embassy might also be able to suggest an accepted provider. Step 3. Get your TEFL certification. While it isn't necessary to have a TEFL certification to legally work in the Czech Republic, you will have a much easier time finding suitable positions with a certificate and will also earn a higher salary. If you want to live and work in the Czech Republic as an English teacher, we recommend that you start your TEFL TESOL course at least one year before your desired start date in Europe. If you choose an in-class course, you will receive your certificate within about four weeks. An online course usually takes anywhere between two and six months. This depends on how much time you have and how quickly you work through the units. Keep in mind that even if you complete a TEFL in-class course in Prague, you will still have to apply for your visa from outside of the country. However, employers will certainly appreciate your in-class teaching experience in the Czech Republic and your experience with local students. While in-class courses were much preferred in the early days of EFL teaching, online TEFL courses are now just as valued. Keep in mind that employers usually only hire teachers with a TEFL certificate of more than 100 hours of study. That's why we recommend the following course options. 120-hour TEFL TESOL course. 220-hour master package. 470-hour professional package. Step 4. Be patient, persistent and flexible. Generally, Prague has the largest market for EFL teachers, but competition is fierce. Be flexible and look beyond this glorious capital city. Brno, Ostrava and Pilsen are among the biggest cities and also offer jobs for TEFL qualified teachers. Step 5. Apply for jobs. Once you have your TEFL certificate in hand and understand the local job market, you are ready to start your job search. All enrolled ITTT students and alumni have access to our lifetime job assistance, including our job boards. We have an extensive network of recruiters and schools in the Czech Republic to allow you to, to choose the job offer that suits your needs. You can also find a lot of vacant teaching positions in the Czech Republic via a quick Google search. However, not all of them will be legit. We have a couple of tips on how you can spot a TEFL job scam. 
for example, you should never have to pay for job placement. This also includes recruiters. Schools reach out to recruitment agencies looking for a new teacher, and then the school pays the recruiter upon hiring a teacher. A teacher never pays a recruiter. We work with a range of renowned recruiters who specialize in the TEFL market, and we would love to connect you with them. Are you ready for your checked adventure? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. Teaching English in the Czech Republic, the Salary and Budget Guide This guide will help you answer the question, how much can I earn and save teaching English in the Czech Republic? You'll also find information on the local cost of living in order to figure out how much to budget for when making the move to the Czech Republic. The typical salary for English teachers in the Czech Republic. Because of the huge demand for TEFL qualified teachers across the Czech Republic, the average salary can be anywhere from 18,000 to 30,000 Czech Karuna, currently US $700 to $1,200 per month. However, a lot of private language centers prefer to pay by the hour, and it is common practice for teachers to work at more than one institute in order to make up a full-time schedule. English teachers in the Czech Republic working on an hourly rate make around 200 to 300 Czech Karuna, $8 to $12 per hour. How to earn extra cash while teaching English in the Czech Republic? Many teachers in the country take advantage of the high demand for private language tutors. By taking on private students in their free time, teachers can earn extra money outside of normal working hours. The rate for private lessons will usually depend on your experience, but is typically from 300 to 500 Czech Karuna. $12 to $20 per hour. Getting a work visa in the Czech Republic. The Czech Republic is a popular teaching destination in Europe for teachers from outside the EU as it is possible for non-EU citizens to obtain a long-term work visa to teach legally in the country. The cost of living in the Czech Republic. Besides the strong demand for TEFL qualified teachers, the Czech Republic also attracts English teachers because of the relatively low cost of living. Routine expenses such as groceries and public transport are a lot cheaper than you will find in Western European countries such as France, Italy, or Spain. Cost of living in the Czech Republic food. If you eat out at local restaurants and buy your produce at local markets, you will be able to eat very cheaply in the Czech Republic. Milk, 1 liter. 19 Czech Karuna. Eggs, 12. 50 Czech Karuna. Apples, 1 kilogram, 35 Czech Karuna. Chicken breast, 1 kilogram, 145 Czech Karuna. Rice, 1 kilogram, 35 Czech Karuna. Bottle of water, 1 5L, 24 Czech Karuna. Bottle of Czech beer, 0 5L, 36 Czech Karuna. Cost of living in the Czech Republic. Leisure activities. Czechs like to hang out with friends and enjoy their free time. When teaching English in the Czech Republic, you can be sure to have a great time outside of the classroom while exploring this wonderful country and culture to the fullest. 3 course mid range restaurant dinner 750 Czech karuna quick restaurant meal 140 Czech karuna 1 month fitness club membership 770 Czech karuna movie ticket international release 180 Czech karuna cost of living in the Czech republic transportation Large cities have a fast subway network, and the whole country is very well connected via trains and buses. Taxi rides are also not as expensive as in Western European countries. Metro ride. 24 Czech Karuna. Monthly pass, regular price. 550 Czech Karuna. 
Taxi rate per kilometers 26 Czech Karuna. Start fare 40 Czech Karuna. City bus. 24 Czech Karuna. Cost of living in the Czech Republic, travel in the Czech Republic and beyond. The Czech Republic is world famous for its beautiful landscape and scenery, and you should definitely take advantage of the low price of train tickets to explore the country. One night in a mid-range hotel. 1000 Czech Karuna, a train from Prague to Brno, 2.5 hours. 109 Czech Karuna. Train from Prague to Vienna, 4 hours. 750 Czech Karuna. Sample monthly teacher budget. To give you an example of how an English teacher in the Czech Republic spends their salary, here is a sample monthly budget. Gross income, salary. 25,000 Czech Karuna. Average. Rent, shared or one bedroom. 8,500 Czech Karuna. Utilities, electricity, gas, water. 4,200 Czech Karuna. Phone and internet. 480 Czech Karuna. Food. 3,000 Czech Karuna. Insurance. 500 Czech Karuna. Remaining disposable income. 8,320 CZK, currently 370 United States dollars. How much you can save when teaching English in the Czech Republic? As you can see from the sample budget above, you will be left with approximately 370 United States dollars after the average expenses. This amount varies, and of course, depending on your salary and location. However, it is true that you won't be able to save as much while teaching English in the Czech Republic compared to places in Asia, for example, where the salaries are generally higher and the cost of living even lower. However, you will still have the time of your life when teaching English in the Czech Republic because of its welcoming culture and exciting things to see and do. Take your TEFL TESOL in class course in Prague. ITTT has an in-class TEFL course in Prague, where you can spend four weeks learning everything you need to know about teaching your own English classes abroad. Are you ready to teach English in the Czech Republic? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. Top Tips for Teaching English in Europe For many people looking to teach English abroad, Europe is the number one dream destination. Whether your dreams involve the romance of Paris, the fine art of Florence, or the nightlife of Barcelona, the good news is there are plenty of teaching jobs available, even if you have no previous experience. If you are a native speaker of English, there is really nothing standing in your way. If you want to be a successful teacher living and working in Europe, here are the key things you need to know. Get TEFL certified. As mentioned, you don't need any previous experience to get a job teaching English in Europe, but you will need a TEFL certification. As competition for teaching jobs in most countries is increasing year on year, the vast majority of reputable employers will now only seriously consider those who have made the effort to complete a certified teacher training course. Completing a TEFL course will also give you the skills you need to feel confident in a classroom and to provide a high-quality education for your students. At ITTT we offer our four-week in-class TEFL certification course in many great locations across Europe. We also offer a range of online TEFL courses that are also welcomed by European employers. Prepare to interview in person. Unlike some other regions of the world, employers across Europe tend to interview their prospective teachers in person. Obviously, this means you will have to be prepared to leave home without a guaranteed job in place. Although this might sound a little daunting, the reality is that most people are able to secure a teaching position soon after arrival as the demand is very high in many areas. 
if you consider that the majority of people only teach for one to two years, it is no surprise that the high turnover of teaching staff ensures there are always plenty of vacancies, particularly during the peak hiring seasons. There are a few exceptions to this rule. Government-run programs that recruit teachers to work in public schools generally hire in advance from your home country. The TAPAC program in France, the Cultural Ambassadors program in Spain, and the Central European Teaching program in Hungary are all great options in this category. You may also find jobs advertised online in advance in countries such as Russia and Turkey. If you choose ITTT for your TEFL training you will receive extensive post-course help with all aspects of the job hunting process. Be aware of each country's requirements. Although teaching experience is generally not necessary in Europe, some countries do have other requirements. In certain countries, you will need a college degree in any subject to work as an English teacher. However, while this is the case for countries such as France and Turkey, there are many others where it is not a requirement, such as the Czech Republic, Italy, and Spain. The other major requirement to consider is a visa. Anyone with an EU passport will have little to worry about as they can legally live and work anywhere in the region. Unfortunately, things are not quite as simple for non-EU citizens. In countries such as Spain and Italy, you can apply for a student visa which also allows you to work a set number of hours a week. Elsewhere it is common for language schools to sponsor you for a work visa or you can apply for a work visa as an independent contractor. Just be aware that an individual country's requirements can change at any time, so we advise that you check with an embassy or consulate online or in person for the most up-to-date information. Make multiple job applications and even accept more than one offer. If you have a good quality TEFL certification, don't make the mistake of accepting the first job offer that comes your way. If you apply for as many teaching positions as possible, you can expect to receive multiple offers which will allow you to, to choose the one that suits you best. In fact, you don't have to simply work for one employer. It is common practice for EFL teachers in Europe to work for more than one language school at the same time. The main advantage of this scenario is that you can pick and choose the lessons that you want to teach certain times of the day and or different age groups may well suit you better than others. Take on private lessons in your free time. Another common practice for EFL teachers in Europe is to teach private lessons outside of school hours. This is a great way to top up your earnings and it can even lead to a full-time job where you can decide exactly what from anywhere in the world. Plan your finances. As teaching English in Europe will likely involve a long flight and no paycheck for at least a month, it is an adventure that also needs to be considered from a financial point of view. Once you start earning, your income should be enough to cover all the basic expenses such as rent, transport, and food, as well as enough extra to fund a couple of nights a week on the town and travel on the weekends. However, you will still need to budget enough funds to get you through to that first paycheck. Realistically, you should arrive in Europe with enough funds to support yourself for one to two months. This sum could be anywhere from $1,500-$2,500 United States dollars, excluding airfare, depending on where you choose to look for work. Obviously, Accommodation and other expenses will be higher in major cities such as Paris or Rome in comparison to a small town in the Czech Republic. Pick and choose your clients wisely. Although some teachers will work from within the same school or institute throughout the week, many teachers in Europe will spend a significant amount of time commuting to various lessons around town. While traveling from A to B in a foreign city might be fine at first, spending 30 minutes getting to a 45-minute lesson several times a day will soon get tiresome. Just remember that you do not have to accept every student that your language school offers you. If possible you should ensure that your students are all in the same vicinity so you can maximize the amount of free time you have away from the classroom. Yes, maximize your free time.
Although you will need to work hard to ensure you have enough cash to enjoy your free time away from the classroom, don't forget the main reasons why you chose to teach English in Europe in the first place. For most people, it is to explore the countries and culture that make this region so unique. As the distances are relatively small between countries and major cities, it is quick and easy to visit virtually any of your dream destinations in Europe over a weekend. With this in mind, you might want to say no to that 4 p.m. class on a Friday so you can get a head start on your latest adventure. Are you ready to teach English in Europe? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. The How-To Guide for Americans to Teach English in Europe Every year, thousands of Americans embark on their adventure of teaching English abroad. Many of them dream of living in Europe but are deterred by the seemingly unfavorable visa regulations and they head to Asia or Latin America instead. While it is true that a lot of employers in European countries prefer to hire teachers with an EU passport to avoid having to organize a work visa for those from other countries, there are other ways to legally work in Europe as an American English teacher. Here is our how-to guide for Americans to teach English in Europe. Get TEFL certified. The first step for your adventure abroad, no matter which nationality you hold, is to get a TEFL certificate. The simple fact is, TEFL certified teachers have a much higher chance of landing a great position and earning a higher salary compared to teachers without a TEFL or TESOL qualification. Some countries even have formal regulations in place that require teachers to possess a TEFL qualification in order to secure a work visa. ITTT has several in-class training centers across Europe where you can join our four-week TEFL in-class course and become TEFL certified directly in Europe. After graduating, our local staff can then help you find a teaching position locally. Choose the right location. Many schools across Europe specifically look for American teachers with a TEFL qualification to fill vacant positions, especially in places like Rome, Madrid, Berlin, Moscow, and Prague. While it is true that some schools in Europe prefer British English, there are a lot of schools that either do not have a set preference or are actually looking for teachers with an American accent. In general, Western Europe has a strong preference for British English, and excessive bureaucracy also makes it much harder for US citizens to secure a work visa. However, countries like Spain, Germany, and Italy still have a strong job market for non-EU teachers. Eastern Europe is probably the best place to start as a non-EU citizen in Europe. The region has a strong demand for TEFL qualified teachers, plus the cost of living is generally lower compared to Western Europe. Popular countries for English teachers in Eastern Europe include the Czech Republic, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, and Russia. Another country that is well worth considering is Turkey as it's not a member of the EU and does not have any bias toward teachers from EU countries. Teaching programs for Americans in Europe Several countries also have established government-funded programs that place qualified teachers from non-EU countries into private and public schools. This includes the following programs. The Teaching Assistant Program in France. The Cultural Ambassadors Program in Spain. The Central European Teaching Program in Hungary. Get the timing right. It is worth noting that the majority of teachers in Europe are hired through face-to-face -face interviews in the country. Therefore, you will need to be on the ground in the country of your choice at the perfect time of the year. The main hiring season for most language schools in Europe is between September and October. Besides that, January is also a great time for job hunting in a lot of countries. 
If you are looking for a job outside of these peak hiring seasons, you can head to Russia or Turkey, where schools tend to hire year-round. Teaching legally with the right visa. While it is true that a lot of Americans head to Europe and work on nothing more than a tourist visa, this is not legal and can lead to deportation and fines. Countries like Turkey, Russia, and Poland require teachers to apply for a work visa from within their home country, while places like Germany and the Czech Republic process work permits locally once you are hired. Another popular and legal option is to enroll in a language study program in your chosen country so you can apply for a student visa. A student visa allows you to work up to a certain number of hours per week. This is especially popular in Spain, Italy, and France. Be flexible and patient. Flexibility and patience will also go a long way when finding a teaching job in Europe. A lot of teachers start out in Eastern European countries due to easier visa regulations and then move on to other countries after they gain teaching experience, local know-how, and the right connections. If you are planning on heading to Europe to teach English as a foreign language, you should start your TEFL course at least six months to a year in advance of your intended departure. ITTT offers lifetime job assistance free of charge to all course graduates and we have an extensive network of schools and recruiters across Europe. Once you have completed your TEFL course, we will help you to find a job in Europe and prepare you for your adventure. Are you ready to live and teach in Europe? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. Why Prague is the ideal place to teach English? Prague is one of the most popular places for EFL teachers in Europe. The Czech Republic makes it relatively easy for non-EU citizens to secure a work permit, and the cost of living isn't as astronomical as in many Western European countries. Here are four amazing reasons why Prague is the ideal place to teach English. Variety and volume of available teaching work. In Prague and in the Czech Republic generally, teaching opportunities abound for English proficient, qualified TEFL teachers. The sheer variety of work available is in itself impressive. You could be teaching in private language schools, preschools, public primary and secondary schools, universities as well as summer camps and after-school programs. In company, exam preparation and soft skills courses are also very popular giving you the chance to meet and work with interesting IT professionals from a range of industries, finance, retail, it, politics and the arts. Prague can also be a great place to start out as a teacher as there are numerous career development and networking opportunities in the form of teachers and publishers conferences, workshops, training and seminars on a wide choice of topics going on throughout the academic year, the majority of which are offered for free to in-service teachers. Rich history and cultural offerings. This is a great city to work in with its green spaces, well-preserved, historical architecture and excellent transportation connections on clean, safe and reliable routes. Come work in a city awash with history, where you can imagine Nikola Tesla comparing theories with his fellow students in a traditional local pub. Walk to your classes, past an apartment house that Kafka once lived in. Or alternatively, sip your coffee in the same room where Einstein once drank his. Prague's central location means that should the spirit move you, you could also be toasting new friends at Munich's Oktoberfest, savoring soccer toward in a Viennese cafe or sampling paprikash in Budapest Central Market, all within a matter of hours after leaving Prague city limits. Reasonably priced bus and train tickets can be bought for all points north, south, east, and west, with most forms of transport leaving hourly. So much to see and do. 
the cost of living here is comparatively low, especially when you look at other European capitals of a similar size, but with no fewer the cultural and entertainment offerings. You will be spoiled for choice with festivals and events for music, food, beer, wine, art, design, film, theatre, politics, and sports taking place on a near-constant basis. The vibrant Prague art scene boasts three opera houses, about 50 active theatres, as well as an eclectic range of museums and galleries, and music and sports venues both large and small. There is a veritable plethora of restaurants, pubs, bars, sidewalk cafes and cinemas. Prague has a rich and varied expat community with a variety of cultural offerings available in English, German, Russian, or Spanish, etc. Prague is also no slouch when it comes to more physical pursuits, with hiking and biking trails, alpine and cross-country ski runs and lakes for windsurfing, canoeing and kite surfing all just a bus or train ride from the city centre. The city of a hundred spires also plays host to several marathons in the Prague Tennis Open, as well as being home to a selection of professional hockey, rugby and football teams. Comestibles Lastly and perhaps most importantly, is the food and drink. Czech cuisine tends generally toward heartier fare, dumplings and sausages, goulashes, and lakes. However, as Prague is both the largest city in the Czech Republic and the country's capital, diverse and ethnic cuisines also prevail. You can find anything from authentic buffalo burgers, vegetarian sloppy joes and raw cakes to Middle Eastern delicacies and Indian and Mexican delights, not to mention some of the best local coffee shops anywhere. All this and we have yet to touch upon the raucous pub and bar scene. A night on the tiles in Prague is most certainly an experience to be had by all. What more could you ask for when a frothy mug of truly excellent beer will set you back less than $2, including tip? Why aren't you here yet? Are you ready to teach English in Prague? Located at the very heart of the European continent, the Czech Republic is an increasingly popular choice for teaching English abroad. With plenty of jobs available year-round, a low cost of living, abundant cultural highlights, and a vibrant nightlife, what are you waiting for? For the very best start to your teaching career in the Czech Republic, why not take our in-class DEFL certification course in Prague? You can also get further information about living and working here via our Czech Republic Country Guide. Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. 6 Reasons for Teaching English in the Czech Republic The Czech Republic is by no means a newcomer to the EFL teaching world. In fact, it has been a firm favorite with many teachers for several years. However, it may not be among the countries you initially consider when planning to teach English as a foreign language in Europe. So what is it about the country that draws in thousands of teachers from all over the world every year? The following six reasons for teaching English in the Czech Republic should provide a few answers. 1. A thriving job market for English language teachers. One of the main reasons why EFL teachers are drawn to the Czech Republic is the high demand for English language instruction across the country. Since the fall of communism in Eastern Europe the Czech Republic has gone from strength to strength and it is now a full member of the European Union with an economy that is continuing to grow year on year. The country's location in the very heart of the continent has led to it becoming a major centre for trade, industry, and tourism, which in turn has fueled a strong market for English language knowledge. Demand for TEFL certified teachers is particularly high in Prague which is why the majority of teachers begin their career there. However, there are many other towns and cities to consider if you prefer a slower pace of life or you simply want to avoid the stiff competition that you will likely face when applying for the best jobs in the capital. 
Major cities such as Brno and Ostrava also offer plenty of opportunities for EFL teachers, as well as bags of culture and nightlife, giving you a wide choice of options across the country. 2. Work visas for non-EU citizens. While many countries in Western Europe make it very difficult for Americans and other non-EU citizens to obtain work visas for teaching English as a foreign language, this is definitely not the case in the Czech Republic. Although full work visas are obtainable, if you are sponsored by a specific employer, the most common route for most teachers is to apply for a business license that allows you to work as a freelance teacher for one or multiple language schools anywhere in the country. The added benefit of this option is you are free to work as much or as little as you like, allowing you to enjoy your time in Europe to the full. 3. A great location for exploring Europe. If you take a look at a map of Europe you will see that the Czech Republic is located right in the heart of the continent, which makes it a perfect base for exploring the wider region. As it borders Austria, Germany, Poland, and Slovakia, weekend trips to major European capitals such as Berlin, Vienna, and Bratislava are easy to arrange via car, bus or train. A short budget flight will also allow you to visit virtually any other country on the continent. If you dream of visiting all the major capitals of Europe or some lesser-known destinations, nowhere is better placed than the Czech Republic. 4. A low cost of living. In comparison to most Western European countries, the cost of living in the Czech Republic is very low. Basic living expenses in Prague, such as accommodation, public transport, and groceries can be as much as half the cost of other major cities in the region. If you choose to settle in other areas the cost of living is often even lower than the capital. This favorable economic situation, as well as the good salaries on offer, means you can afford to enjoy a very comfortable lifestyle during your stay in the country. It also means that the startup costs for a teacher moving to the Czech Republic are significantly less than those who choose countries such as France, Italy or Spain. 5. Fascinating history, culture, and architecture. With a history that dates back to the Duchy of Bohemia which was founded over a thousand years ago, the modern-day Czech Republic is home to a wealth of cultural treasures and architectural gems. As Prague was one of the few major European cities that avoided wholesale damage during the wars of the 20th century, it still has a unique medieval center that is a major draw for tourists worldwide. No matter how long you spend in the city you are unlikely to tire of the countless grand buildings that surround you, from ancient castles and ornate palaces to magnificent cathedrals and spectacular opera houses, Prague has it all. Elsewhere across the country you will find many other stunning locations to explore, including the historic town of Eski Krumlov and the gothic splendor of Karlstadchen Castle. 6 world-class beer and a relaxed way of life. Of course, the Czech Republic is not only about castles and palaces. It is also world-renowned for producing some of the finest beers on the planet. The country's most famous creation is the Pilsner-style beer which was first made in the city of Pilsen in 1842. Wherever you are in the country you will find plenty of friendly bars where you can sample a countless array of local brews. To accompany a local beer or two you can also sample some of the traditional local cuisine that often consists of hearty dishes, such as soups, stews, and sausages. If that is not enough to convince you, you should also consider that socializing in the Czech Republic will not break the bank as food and drinks are considerably cheaper than in Western Europe. Whether you enjoy a night on the town or the peace and quiet of a back street cafe, you will soon come to realize why the Czech Republic is known as one of the friendliest, most relaxed and open-minded countries in the region. The local people are generally very welcoming and keen to include newcomers into their communities. This relaxed approach to life, work and leisure is just another example of why you should seriously consider the Czech Republic as the location of your teaching adventure abroad. Are you ready to teach English in the Czech Republic? 
located at the very heart of the European continent, the Czech Republic is an increasingly popular choice for teaching English abroad. With plenty of jobs available year-round, a low cost of living, abundant cultural highlights, and a vibrant nightlife, what are you waiting for? For further information about living and working in the Czech Republic, take a look at our Czech Republic Country Guide. Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.